Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas holiday series. In this series, you'll get a tutorial every day from December 1st through December 12th, and I'll be creating projects using Dollar Tree supplies. So if you're just jumping in on this series, make sure you check the description box below where I'll have a link that will catch you up on all the previous projects that we've created so far. And if you aren't already, I hope you will subscribe so that you can follow us along as we continue through this 12 Days of Christmas series. Also hit the bell so that you get notified when those videos do go live on my channel. Now in today's project, I'm going to be transforming these really cute lighted holiday necklaces. So let's get started with the project. All right, so here's a look at some of the supplies I'm going to use to get started. Of course, you're going to need your light up necklace, light bulb necklace from the Dollar Tree. And the great thing about them is they they come apart, so you don't have to wear them as a necklace. They actually come apart, which is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to be using my chalk paint in white with a paintbrush to paint the light bulbs with. And then I have a few things I'm going to add to the string to create a garland. So I couldn't find, my Dollar Tree was out of this burlap in the plain. They only had this chevron print. But you could find burlap at Dollar Tree. Most of the time that's just plain. So I'm gonna be using what I have on hand, which is just this uh, thicker burlap, but I'm gonna cut it apart to use. And then you can also use some ribbon. Dollar Tree has some great burlap ribbon like this. They also have lace. Uh, these are not from the Dollar Tree, but they are great to add if you're into that buffalo check look. So I may add some of that. Also some jute or twine would be pretty on there just to give it a lot of texture. And of course a pair of scissors so that you can cut all this up and hang it from the string of the lights. So the first thing I'm going to start with is just painting my light bulbs white with the chalk paint. So here's my setup. I've just hung the lights from the kitchen cabinets here so that I can paint them and they don't lay flat and roll around. And then I've also put a piece of craft paper, which is also from the Dollar Tree, on the surface in case there's any drips. And I'm just gonna use my foam paintbrush to paint the colored part of the ornaments white. And they're probably gonna take at least two coats, if not three, to get good coverage. So here is a look at the first coat of paint. I'm gonna let this dry and come back and do the next coat in probably about 10 minutes or so. So I ended up doing three coats on these just to get as good a coverage as I could. When you turn the lights on, you still kind of see the color that blinks through there. And that's okay if you don't turn it on, you won't see it at all, but it's just really subtle. And then while this is drying, I want this to dry really, really well. So I'm probably gonna let it sit here 30 minutes to an hour before I add anything to the wire. But while it is drying, I'm going to start cutting my burlap. I'm gonna cut them about 10 inches long. And then mine, I'm gonna cut in half. But if you have the Dollar Tree burlap, you probably don't have to cut it in half at all. Just leave it the width it is. But this is a little bit too wide. So I'm gonna cut this down the middle and cut 10 inch sections. I also am going to add my garland to the kitchen, which I have mainly a red and white theme right now going on. So I'm gonna add some of this red and white buffalo check ribbon to it just to give it a little bit of color. And then I'm also going to add in some of this uh, nautical rope, which is also from the Dollar Tree. So this step was really simple. I just tied a single knot of burlap around the string of the lights. And one knot seemed to 
be just fine to hold it all into place. And I added three strips of burlap in between each light and that acted as a filler. So I just started in the middle and worked my way out to the ends. Once I got to the ends, I decided to tie a loop in the string of lights. That way I had a way to hang the garland once it was done. And after I tied the loop, then I added more burlap to hide the knot. Once all the burlap was tied on, I went in with my scissors and clipped off all of the stray strings that were hanging off to just give it more of a finished look. Then it was time to add my ribbon. I just added four little pieces of ribbon to this just to add a touch of color. And then I also added some of that nautical rope as well to add some more texture. And that's all there is to transforming a strand of colored lights from the Dollar Tree and giving it more of a rustic and farmhouse look for the holidays. I've also enjoyed turning the lights on and getting that little hint of glow and warmth in the kitchen as well. By using all Dollar Tree supplies, you could create this project for only about $5 and about an hour of your time. I hope that this tutorial inspired you and make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. You can also share this with your friends and family and inspire them too. I also hope you will hit that subscribe button and join me as we continue this 12 days of Christmas Dollar Tree DIY tutorial series. And I hope you'll also hit the bell so that you're one of the first to see when my videos do go live. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a very happy holiday season and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.